In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a digital timing light. Now, for a lot of you guys, it's a no-brainer. You've been doing it for years. All right, so we're going to pretend this is on an engine. This is a harmonic balancer, and this is your timing chain cover. And right here is your timing mark. So you're going to hook up the timing light to the number one spark plug wire. And then the other two wires are going to go to the positive and negative side of the battery. As the engine's running, it's going to flash a light. So we're going to start off talking about a normal timing light, a regular old school timing light. So as the engine's running, you're going to see the timing mark here appear. So if this was where you saw it appear, you're basically top dead center. Anything on this side of the mark is going to be retarded and anything before is going to be advanced. So we've got 5 degrees advanced, 10 degrees and 15 and on this side you've got 5 and 10. So typically for stock applications usually you'll see that sticker on your uh, I think on the fender well it'll say like and that's usually like I don't know late 60s early 70s cars you'll see something that might say 2 degrees top dead center for stock applications. And what I would usually do is I'd probably I would usually run around eight degrees advance for a stock application and it would run pretty good there but for performance you know there's a lot more involved you want to go and find total advance well total advance is difficult to do with this type of harmonic balancer and timing marks what you would need is you need a piece of tape on here because if we were going to run this engine at higher rpm say 2000 rpm to see total advance, to get past the mechanical advance on the distributor, um, once you ran it at that higher RPM, this timing mark is going to come down here somewhere, somewhere, and you're not going to be able to see it. Or even if you do see it, it's like, well, what is that? I can't tell if that's 32 degrees or 27 degrees, you know? So then what you would do is put a timing tape on your harmonic balancer. So then it would have marks come across the harmonic balancer. And then the mark here would, would be like, say, 30 degrees or something like that. With the digital timing light, what's nice about those is it's kind of a different approach. You're still using a strobing light. You're still hooking it to the number one spark plug wire. You're still hooking it up to the positive and negative side of the battery. Only when the engine's running, you have a digital screen. So let's just say that this engine was running, and it's running at around 32 degrees total advance. RPM is around 2,000 to 2,200 RPM right now. We're past the mechanical advance. So when we have the timing light on, on a digital timing light, you're going to run the engine, and then the screen is going to tell you a number. Like, let's say it says 50 degrees or something like that. And let's say the timing mark is here while the light is flashing. So those up and down arrows on the timing light, you're going to press and by pressing it, you want to bring the timing mark on the harmonic balancer up to where it is zero. Once you see the timing light flashing here at zero, whatever the number is on your screen is your time. All right, so let's walk through it on the car. changing the timing. You have to physically move the distributor to change the timing. 
all this is doing is just telling you what it is. So let's say, you know, I've got, let's just say we started this from scratch with zero degrees. So when you look out at the tiny mark, you can't see the mark, right? You see it's way advanced. So you're gonna back this, oh, oops, wrong direction. You're gonna turn, advance the timing up while watching the mark and bringing it up to the zero mark. And whatever this number is here, that's your, your timing. This is 28 degrees. We locked, Dennis and I locked this distributor out. So there's no vacuum advance or anything like that. That's why it's, you know, fairly high compared to, if you had a stock distributor, you might be eight degrees or something like that. Eight to 12 degrees advance at idle. Uh, we gotta drop the idle down too. One thing I wanted to clarify was the RPM. When you're looking at the timing light on the right hand side, that's the RPM that the engine is running at. In this particular case, this distributor is locked out. So it doesn't matter if the engine is running at 200 RPM, 800 RPM, 3000 RPM, or 6000 RPM. The timing that you see is gonna be the timing that the engine is running at all the time. So with a stock distributor set up, at idle, your timing is gonna be a much lower. It might be you know, eight to 12 degrees. And then in order to get total timing, you're gonna to have to bring the RPMs up. I usually go about 2000, you know, 1800 to 2200 RPM should be enough. Uh, and then you're gonna, that's where you wanna set your distributor to get total timing. Also remember to have your vacuum advance disconnected so that you get your true total timing. Before we end this video, I wanted to invite you to Project Cars at the Strip. It's going to be held in Las Vegas at the Muscle Cars at the Strip event, March 17th through 19th. And if there's any confusion, a lot of people are thinking that it's patina cars, it's beater cars. Um, the Project Cars at the Strip is the whole spectrum. It's beater cars, driver cars, um, cars that are ratty, cars that are nice, completely restored cars, whatever it is. The whole point of the exercise is to put a goal out there in front of you to motivate you to finish your car and to attend Project Cars at the Strip in Las Vegas next year. So if you have a car that's in progress, being built, whether it's beater, nice, ratty, patina, completely restored, whatever it is, the only thing that you have to have is it running when you're there at the event. So be sure to attend and uh, it's going to be a good time. And one more quick announcement, uh, I just switched distributors for my t-shirts, so if you'd like to get a Johnny Mopar t-shirt that has a 68 charger on the back of it, uh, I'll show a picture here, and you can go down to the link in the description below and get yourself a t-shirt.